Hey folks, so today what I want to do is talk about how to convert, you know, binary to decimal, back to binary to hexadecimal, and also talk about ASCII codes. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to create a text file with some letters in it, and I'm going to use a program in Linux called hexdump, which is going to dump the uh, hexadecimal um, data file uh, to the terminal here. And then I'm going to use Python to convert those letters back to, uh, you know, ASCII codes and, and decimal and binary and things like that. So uh, what I'm going to do to make this text file is I'm going to use uh, this, this syntax here. And if you're not familiar with the Linux environment, this is going to be kind of, kind of odd. I'm actually going to do um, capital H here, and, or capital A, sorry. And so basically, echo is going to say, take the letter A and put it into this file, uh, example txt. And so if I, if I do a list here, you're going to see the videos that I'm creating here um, right now. And then you're also going to see this example text file. And if I just uh, tell the computer to spit the output, it's going to tell me that the letter A is in that text file. And so if I, if I use this program called hexdump, it's going to dump the uh, hexadecimal, hexadecimal addresses. And basically what it's going to do is like this is the, the, uh, the line number uh, in terms of bytes. And then these are the actual hexadecimal um, values that are in there. And the way they do it is they actually do the, the, the low byte first. Or sorry, they do the low byte. Yeah, they do the, the low byte first and, and then the high byte. And so if you actually want to get the letter in this, you actually have to get the, uh, the 41. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Python here, and I'm going to create my letter in hex, and I'm going to say 0, uh, 41. And so the way Python does hex is it, it, uh, it, create, it, it puts a 0x in front of it. And hexadecimal stands for... Um, you know, hex is 6 and then decimal is 10, so 10 plus 6 is 16. And so if I want to convert that number to an integer, or say decimal notation, I can use the int function and say, hey, give me the letter hex and uh, tell, say it's base 16. And it's going to tell me that that number is 65. And then that number 65 is in ASCII code. And so if I, if I convert that ASCII code 65 to a character, it's going to say that that character in ASCII is the letter A. And so I, I can do some interesting things here now. And so I can say, like, okay, well, what if I already had the letter A? And so what if I said the letter was, was A like this? And I said, okay, c convert this to, to, a, uh, to an ASCII code and tell me what it is. And so if I do ORD, if I use the function ORD and type in the letter, I'll get the, uh, the, you know, the, the I'm sorry, the, I'll, I'll get this uh, 65 here. And so if I, if, I, if I do a string and I say hello, you know, something like this, and then I do ORD, of, uh, of the string, it's going to freak out and say that, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And so you need, to, you need to unfortunately loop through it. And so if I did, you know, ORD of the letter H, and then ORD of the letter E, and then ORD of the letter L, and then uh, the letter O, right, because L is repeated twice, I'm going to get 72, uh, uh, 101, 108, and then 111. And those are all in decimal notation. So what I can do is then I can convert those to, to hex, and obviously there's a function hex, and so I can just give it the number 72, and it's going to say that h is uh, 48 in hex, and then it's going to say that the uh, 101, which is the letter e, is 65 in hex, and then uh, if I do the uh, letter o, which is, uh, what? well, sorry, the letter l is 6c, and then uh, if I do the letter o, which is 111, whoops, 111, that is 6f. So if I, if I quit this and I say, okay, you know what, echo the entire wor word hello to, um, to that example.txt file, and I, and I cat the output, uh, now I see that the word hello is in there. And if I hex dump um, the, the, the text file, now, it's gonna, now there's a lot more stuff in here. So you'll see that there's a, a 65, and if you notice, there's this before, if I scroll up, this was two, and it's because this was, this was, there were two letters in there. Uh, but now I've got I've got uh, one two three four five six and so now I'm at and you know at at, at at register six here, and so if I look at this 65 if I scroll back up here 65 in hex is 101, and 101 in decimal is the letter E for the ASCII code. So this is the letter E. 48 is 72 in decimal and 72 is the letter H. So this is the word this is H E and again it's backwards as I was saying before. So this is H E and then six C. 6C is 108, and 108 is L, so this is H-E-L-L, -L, 
And then 6f, 6f is 111, that's an O, and then, uh, so that's hello. So then what is this uh, 0a here? So we can, again, go back to Python, and we can say, okay, let's, uh, let, let's make this weird letter, um, end letter, or end character, really, is, uh, is 0 by 0a. And we can say, okay, well, what is that? Well, first, let's convert it to an integer. So let's take that end character and convert it to an integer using base 16. We say that it's the, it's the ASCII code 10. And then we can use the ORD function, say, tell me what 10 is. Uh, I'm sorry, I gave you, I used the wrong function. And it's going to say, oh, that's a, a new line. And so basically what it's saying is, is that in this file are the letters H-E-L-L-O and then a new line. And so that, that is uh, essentially telling me that the string is H-E-L-L-O slash N. Which is interesting because when I did this echo command, I didn't actually put that slash N in there, but it's implicitly in there just because that's, that's sort of how it works. And you can kind of turn the crank on this. You can do hello world with the space, and you can look at all the different ASCII codes. But if you want to check your work, you can do that. So let's say you want to take a binary number and say the binary number 101, which we know is 5, and we want to convert that to an, a decimal notation. Well, we just, um, let's see, perhaps it doesn't like that B in the way. Let's do 101 like that. There we go. So uh, I, for some reason, I thought it would, it would detect the B, but it looks like it didn't. So you just take that binary 101, and then if you do int binary uh, base 2, because that's what a binary number is, it'll tell you that that number is 5. And just for kicks, we can uh, figure out what the ASCII code is for um, that character. And it looks like it's some weird, uh, you know, non-printing character. Um, so if, let, let's do 10. So 10 is, is 8 plus 2, right? So if we do 8, uh, 4, 2, 1, that should, be, um, that should be 10 in decimal. And if we combine this entire thing together and say, let's compute the character notation, uh, we're going to get the uh, new line there, which is, is kind of nice. We can get all that together. Um, so say we want to do convert uh, a decimal number to binary. Well, we just use the bin function. So let's say, let's take the number 10 and convert it to binary. And there we go, 1010. Zero, zero. And see, oh, okay, you have to do, so if you want to make a binary number, you've got to do 0B1010. And then you can do convert that to integer uh, base 2. And then there you get uh, 10. And so I think, I think I've gone over all the functions. So if you want to go from binary to decimal, you use the int function with the correct base. If you want to go from an, a decimal number to a binary number, you use the bin function. If you want to compute the ASCII code of a, of a letter, e, like say the letter E, you use the ORD function. And then if you want to uh, compute the hex value of a variable, you use the hex function. So all of these different functions are built into Python. I if you notice, I didn't have to do any imports or anything like that, and I was able to convert uh, you know, back and forth. And so that's an easy way to sort of check your work. So if you want to convert your name, say, um, to ASCII and then binary or even hex, you, you, know, you can use these functions here. If you don't have a Linux computer, you're not going to be able to use hex dump. Um, I'm not entirely sure if there is an equivalent in Linux, um, or sorry, in Windows, but, you know, hey, that's, uh, that's sort of the co the, how the cookie crumbles depending on the operating system that you have. Anyway, uh, this was a quick uh, lecture just on uh, some simple functions in Python, and I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.